not firing, not firing. No one else is firing. I'm going to go to my movement phase. This is probably kind of stupid, but I don't care. One, two. Let me roll for booby traps. Uh, a one and a four, no booby traps. I don't even know how that works. I'm going to have to figure that out in just a second. I don't think I've ever done that before in Valorant Victory, but I'm desperate. <laughs> okay, um, he moves up there. Booby trap check. That's a stack that moved. Three, he's fine. Booby trap for the vehicle. Seven, two. Eight, no booby trap. One, two. Actually, one, two, three. It's moving through a woods hex. There's a turn. Uh, I should roll, however, for the uh, vehicle. Uh, he's good. I roll for the medic. Uh, the medic is good with an eight. As many 12s as I've rolled, you think I'd hit a booby trap by now. Even get into that. Let's do the uh, opportunity fire while I'm back here. All right. You're going to take your shot. Your shot is uh, you're at guns at 10 or less hexes. That's 12. You have to add two because I'm in woods. So it's an eight or less on 2d6. Four. That's a hit. Three and a one. Now we see if we penetrate. And we've got a B against a B. It's a 7 or less on 2d6. 11. Sweet. It does not penetrate. Ting, 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 ting. Now the overrun happens. Sweet. 24 total points. That puts me on the blue table. There's no cover bonus because that 12 gets doubled. And I have to do that many casualty points. If I do more than four casualty points, the truck is automatically destroyed. Because he's got four casualty points. That's his casualty number there. Alright, and a three and a two is five. On that table is six casualty points. He is toast. Technically, he can become pinned. That absorbs one. And then he has to take a bunch more casualty points after that. But it's still more than four. Uh, but he's, yep. he's destroyed. And actually, I wind up in this hex here, which is actually even worse for me, because I'm sure I'm about ready to get gang raped by God knows what. Because he's deep in the enemy's backfield. Nice. Somebody ran, ran an APC through my <laughs> truck. Yes. I just want a picture of that. I want a Zelda just going full speed over a truck carrying two 23 millimeter auto cannons. You don't see that every day, folks. Well, <laughs> let's see. Defensive fire, uh, first of all, will uh, fire the uh, RPG out of uh, Echo. Yeah, five or six into the uh, overrunning uh, APC. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go for it. Uh, it's an eight or less to hit. Yeah, I have no cover bonus. Uh, six. That's a hit. And it's going to be an 11 or less to penetrate. Because it's a D versus a Bravo. Eight. Boom. That produces a casualty marker deep behind PLO lines. Not my smartest move. But no surprise there. And we will fire the technical into the same stack. Okay, add a six, add two to the die roll. That'll put him up on a 11. No effect. Uh, yeah. The... And yeah, the stack next to him, a six against it. Um, six and two? Unless he wants to move. Uh, yeah, the... Okay. Del Delta nine. Okay. Oh... Uh, yeah, you, you, you get to put down a sniper. Yeah! Finally a break. Only my sniper against your sniper. 
All right, no, actually that's not allowed because it has to be within the line of sight of this unit here. Oh boy. Okay, then he makes an immediate sniper attack against this, the unit that just uh, rolled the boxcars. So it's going to be a 6 minus 2 for your woods. Oops. That was a 6, but it was not in the box. Rerolling. 1 becomes a negative 1. No effect. And he, he spawns another guy. Yeah. Um, now, snipers don't get to shoot in the normal fire phase or whatever. They just make free opportunity attacks. Again, or actually, they get to make one opportunity attack per turn whenever somebody moves in their line of sight. So they are only get to use opportunity fire. So uh, as long as nobody moves in that line of sight, I don't get to shoot him again. Now that sniper would get a chance to shoot at your trucks because those trucks are not armored. So if, uh, if your technical moves, the sniper does get a shot. Uh, before your sniper was going to shoot at the Zelda, the Zelda is an armored target. No sniper bolt goes yep. through a uh, unless it's a 50 count, but we don't have rules for that yet. Oh my God. If we ever get into Afghanistan or Iraq, we'll have to make up rules for that. Um, the sniper attacks with an A-class armor-piercing value. It'll punch right through a uh, <laughs> light, light, light-skinned vehicles. Okay, so I think that's going to be it for my advance on assault phase. Now we go to my um, after-action phase. After-action phase is this guy evacuates the prisoner. Or the casualty. Or yeah, the, the casualty. Why am I missing casualty markers? Hold on. I don't want to lose track of exactly how bad I'm losing this game. There were two already, and I just evacuated a third. This medic now evacuates one. He can only evacuate one per turn. These guys in here could try, except they're pinned, so they're not going to try. Uh, officer's going to, gonna try to try to, to rally. He rallies on a four. That's good news, because now these other two, guys, that other one guy can now roll a seven instead of a six. He rolls an eight, he still fails. Alright, so that's going to be it for uh, for my after action phase. If you're beginning your movement phase, I'm going to roll for those civilians. Um, only one's moving, that's the guy on the extreme left. And he is moving to number four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay. Um, you're moving. Damn collaborator running down to them. Yeah, right. Help us, Israelis! The, he can't bring oh, that okay. heavy machine gun with him. The heavy machine gun has a movement rate of two. Let me zoom in here. Uh, that's the two over the A, a move heavy, and that costs him two points oh, yeah. to move into that building. So it's one, two, three. That machine gun weighs 106 pounds. So he can move, but very limited. And oops, I just doubled him. He cloned. All right. So do you still want to move the officer or? Well, uh, all of them uh, will then just move to one towards it, so B B five. That was just to put some Overwatch on the casualty. It's C four. Nice. Now, what's going to happen is uh, when we get to the end of your turn, you have your assault and movement phase. You can move the rest of the way in that building. Yep. So. Uh, if we take the uh, group in Delta 7 and move them to Foxtrot 8. Ooh, we'll be taking some opportunity fire on that action. Uh, I know I will, will but... Uh... I mean, I literally have no choice. So, one, two. He doesn't get really much of anything. Now, two points, he, it's, he's only got the only guy that can help. Well, actually, the medic, I assume you're about to assault. 
Actually, uh, yep. I take that back. The medic gets to throw two points into the assault calculation. He does not get to take opportunity fire. So the only guy I get to do is Gandalf. So he has literally two points only. He's got one guy with an assault rifle. Minus one because he's an officer. Minus two because you're point blank range opportunity fire. So it's a small but pinpoint accurate shot. A grand total of negative three. But it's only on the one to two table. And I roll pretty poorly. I roll a nine, which becomes a six. Which I don't think even does anything. One casualty point. Now, hold on. So, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that because he's going to get more opportunity fire from this uh, guy yeah. further back. Now, I don't get that plus two bonus because I'm not point blank. I only get a negative one because it's opportunity fire and you're in the open. But there's a lot more firepower in here. Grand total of 14 at negative two. And I get a one for opportunity fire in the open, negative two for the officer total. So it's 14 at negative two. You know what I just remembered? I should have thrown some grenades into the... Oh, well, never mind. It only would have made one point of difference. Um, an 11. Jesus Christ. My dice are not with me today. 11 minus... What did I say? 2? It's still nothing. Oh, yeah. Even with all those bonuses. Yeah, it's going to be a clean sweep for the PLO today, man. Alright, so that's my opportunity fire done. These guys can't even reach. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Damn that 556 millimeter ammunition. He can't even reach. So, yep, that's it. There's one more cash to the point for a total of two. Because of the one I did earlier. So a grand total of two casualty points. How would you like to pay that bill? Uh, I'll delete a half squad. There you go. Yeah, this is the one this is one of those times you don't want to pin anybody made the correct choice this is literally that scene in band of brothers where you're conducting an assault and you take fire everyone goes to ground do not let yourself be pinned keep moving forward the assault on foy that's what happens when an assault gets pinned it's not good they're literally right out in the open better to take the cash uh, I, I was thinking of putting a d4 down but uh, i don't want to take the sniper shot in the back uh cool Oh yeah, my sniper has no line of sight on that. Oh uh, yeah, but, but if uh, if the guys in a Delta Nine moved, he definitely have a line of sight on those. And um, it depends on where he moved. If he moves south, the second he moves, I've lost line of sight because I can't shoot through buildings or trees. Okay, so so you, you in that case, move them down, down, join up with the. Uh, that group. There you go. Okay. Cool. Assault phase. <laughs> okay. So, Put me out of my misery. Yeah, the assault on the Zelda, first of all. Okay, the assault on the Zelda is, are you going to throw in, you can throw up to three grenades in there. You have a total of uh, four grenades available. We'll, we'll take two. Okay. That's one grenade per infantry unit, so you got a full squad, a half squad, and an officer who counts. So two grenades, that's going to subtract two from your roll. Alrighty. Yes. So, uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to win this one, because uh, I have no infantry units in there, I can't throw back any grenades. You get to subtract one for your officer, so it's a total of subtract three from your roll, and you have 14 against six, if I'm doing this right pretty sure I'm doing this right. 14 against 6 yeah. is uh, 2 to 1 on the assault table. And you get to subtract 3 from your roll. So what you're basically looking for here is an 11 or less natural on 2d6. And 8. That is a successful assault. Your casualties will be 1 for the APC and 2 for the woods. So you have to take a total of three casualty points. How do you wish to do so, that? Uh, delete the half score squad and uh, uh, pin the officer. All right. 
So, because there is at least one non-pinned guy in that hex, you automatically occupy the hex after a successful assault. That casualty that you just created from the, uh, the crew of that Zelda is captured. So he counts as six victory points. And there's some cool burning wreckage in that hex, just because it's fun to decorate. <laughs> So I do not get a chance to uh, evacuate him. He's automatically either killed or uh, captured. He's going to wake up in a basement in Beirut somewhere. And du duct taped to a yeah, chair. Yeah, the other assault, I'll throw the two last grenades in. All right, you're going to throw in your last two grenades. I'm going to throw in two of my grenades. That's the officer and the medic. And did I delete your two grenades? Uh, I should not have done that, but I know you've got two grenades. Oh, there we go. Your two grenades you throw in there, I throw in two grenades. Alright. Uh, this, this is a slaughter. There, I mean, okay, I got a grand total of six. Ten. An RPG you can use because it's a light weapon. Fourteen. An RPD you can definitely use. That's sixteen. Did I do that right? Six, ten, yep. Sixteen. Yep. Against my total, he counts as two against an assault. That's four to one. You get to add, subtract three from your roll, two for grenades, one for officer. I get to add three to your roll, two for my grenades, and one for my officer. Doesn't matter. It comes out to a grand total of, of four. By the way, these guys are automatically dead. That was an RPG. He doesn't, he, he, he doesn't die. He was never alive. But this guy's automatically dead. That's a casualty marker. Because uh, whenever you assault a hex, if there's any pin units in there, they're gone. They don't they're get dead, to yep. yep. Okay. So let's see. So it's four to one, which is pretty much a joke. Uh, you have to roll a ten or less on two d six. And a six and a four. You barely got it, but you did get barely it. Barely got it. All right. It's going to cost you four casualty points. One for this officer, one for this medic, and then two for the woods. So. Let's see, how do we want to pay that butcher spell? I guess it's a. Delete a. A half squad. With the RPD or the RPG? Uh, with the uh, RPG. The RPG, okay. Uh, He's toast. I think that... That's two so far. And, uh, yeah, pin the, pin the two others. Actually, it might be better to delete the other half squad and uh, have the officer sit in there. You can take an assault to the face and become captured, but who cares? Um, cool. All right. Now you have a non-pinned officer in that hex with the two more casualty points you just created in there. That's four. So that's four Israeli. That, that's 24 casualty. That's 24 victory points. Because there was already two in there. Now there's one for this uh, yeah. lieutenant and now one for the medic team. They're all either captured or killed. They're not just casualties. Yeah, they're they're, they're, they're uh, probably they're, beheaded or something. Who knows what? But uh, yeah, yeah, that, that right that there. Was my, was, uh, yeah. I thought not pinning, but uh, actually getting killed. And even if you counter assault me in the face, you get to take one uh, prisoner of war. Yeah, but I that's can not, live with that. that that's, that's not going to help against uh, all these uh, yeah. all these bodies. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. So yeah, assaults get bloody quick. These guys are toast. These guys are out of here. Holy crap. And the medic and the casualty both load. Because he hasn't had time to evacuate the casualty yet. And then one, two, three. Right there he is blocked from this RPG. Oh, uh, yep. He's not blocked from that uh, technical though. 
one, two, three, four, five. This is and insane. That's, that's... <laughs> <laughs> we have to go rescue that casualty, man. And so at I... that point, uh, <sighs> the RPG can see him, the technical oh, can see him, yeah, and the heavy machine this, gun can see him. This was all stupid. Oh, well, what the hell. I forgot about the RPG. I forgot the RPG can see behind him, too. Damn it. I wasn't too worried about the technical or the douche up in that building. But I forgot about but the, the RPG. But the RPG is... Uh... Oh, there goes three more casualty points. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, go ahead and fire your RPG, sir. It's an eight or less to hit. Hey, uh, Maybe he'll miss. Six. He does not miss. Double three. So that means uh, an 11 or less will penetrate. <laughs> You're still alive. Really? Awesome. It skipped off the armor. Double six. Nice. Next, this two. He gets to subtract three from his roll. Two because I'm point blank and um, opportunity fire in, in the open and one for him being an officer. They rolled a five, so it comes a two. He did more damage than the squad did. He did five casualty points. Holy shit. He just fucking sniped the shit out of him, yeah. And that's one, two, three, four, or five. He wiped out that whole stack by himself. <laughs> give, give that man a medal. Uh, on a natural two, he does get a chance at that. He actually does get uh, the... Uh, he would would the have Val become the, the, a heroic, but... Yeah. Come on, get up top. Oh, Valorous. You know, he's just going to get that one uh, on spec. Because uh, <laughs> he just, first of all, he got one, two, three, four. That's 24 four casualty, casualty points. He just created another three because there was two half squads and an officer on that stack. That's another 18 casualty points. This is like the, the darkest day in the history of the IDF, man. <laughs> he's going to run down there and capture them, I'm sure. Oh my god. Okay, and now we go to my after action phase. Obviously no assault takes place. Uh, we go to my after action phase, which means that this, just to be heroic, this um, medic evacuates that casualty that was left out there in that burning uh, Zelda. He still has the casualty that he carried, he carried in there with, but at least now I can say I rescued that casualty. You, you rescued the, the madman that uh, threw his... Yep. Uh... APC through the uh, PLO line. <laughs> he gets to go back and face charges. <laughs> All right. And that's going to be the end of my turn. And I don't know if you just want to call it now or if you want to try and blow up that last, uh, blow up that last Zelda. I think we, I think we could call it. Uh, All right, guys. That was a uh, an object lesson, everybody, in how not to play Arab is really worse. Or, I'm sorry, a Valorant victory? That is not how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, it was slightly mad. When, when you play the free world forces in any kind of asymmetrical game like this, you got to be super careful. It's all about caution and keeping down your casualties. And then um, once things go bad, they go very bad very quickly. Oh, absolutely. Oh, my God. That was an ass whooping. <laughs> That was a behind the woodshed, grade A, all American ass whipping, man. Holy crap. Look at that.